Hello again, only me. Different video this time. So, today I'm working overtime, so I'm at work, but I'm working till 7 o'clock in the evening, 12 hours, lovely. Um, it's amazing what you get to do on your dinner time at work, doing videos. <clears throat> the beautiful wife has told me that she has invited our little niece over, because um, she's in our bubble. Um, she's invited her over to have some girly time. Yep, auntie and niece together. So, girls are, girls being girls and boys being boys. I suggested, oh, well, you know, that's one-on-one, um, -on -one, you know, bonding time, isn't it? Yeah, she agreed. I said, I might as well go camping, get out of your way. She said, oh, that's a good idea. I said, where's my bag? <laughs> so, today, I'm finishing work. It will be dark when I finish work. Damn. What am I going to do? I'm right, okay. I'm going to go stealth camping. I'm all set for stealth camping. I've grabbed my go bag, chucked in the back of the car, come to work. And uh, whatever's in my bag is in my bag. So I know I haven't got my bivvy bag in there, but I do have my hammock set up in there. So I'm going to have to find a wood. Now, I've recently discovered a wood. Um, I won't tell you where it is unless you DM me and I'll tell you. Um, but I've recently found it. And when I do the next bit, when I actually go, when I'm camping there, I shall talk you through why I chose it. But basically, it was zero degrees last night. So I'm going to be sat in the middle of a wood. Um, you know, um, it, it's a different scenario. I don't, don't have to do it all that lot. But... If I don't do it and I've got the opportunity to do it, it's a bit um, a waste of time, isn't it, really? And uh, I'll be on my own. There'll be nobody around me, social distancing. I've basically been kicked out of my house. <laughs> so, um, watch this space. Okay. So, uh, it's quarter past seven at night. We've uh, parked, well, I've parked my car in a nearby estate. Uh, Try to leave it nonchalantly so nobody knows uh, that I'm off hiking in the woods. And uh, I'm on the trail. Uh, I'll put some pictures in that I took the other day when I was here. But I've never been around here in the dark. And... Uh, Catching everything on my back, crouching under the trees. I'm following the river in the night. And you see, you've actually got a view, you can see a bit of sky. But uh, I don't know what's going to be there when I find it, when I finally get there. Oh, shouldn't be too long though. Uh, quite glad didn't finish work till late oh, that's a bit scary I thought, I thought I'd seen someone uh, Try to be as stealthy as possible, keep out of the way. Um, I can see lights through the trees from there. It's gone seven o'clock at night and I think I'm lost. But uh, I probably could find my way on Google Earth. 
I'm following a blind animal track at the moment. And pigeons don't mud. This is not the place that I found earlier. Right. I was following the river and I've lost the river. And it's not really helping me having the light of the camera in my eyes. So I'm going to uh, put, the, put you down and pick you back up in a minute. <sighs> well, I made it to the site. And, oh, the vision ain't too good on this with this red light. But then again, you've got my face to deal with. <laughs> right there, uh, so... It's up past eight now. Um, that's an hour to get here, find the place and set up, which was predicted. That's exactly what I was expecting to take time to do. And uh, I'm hoping that no one can see me with my red light torch. I don't know if you can see that. Eh? Yeah. My red light torch, keep the light down. Um, can't really see the trees. No, nope, you can't see nothing, can you? No, nope, there's geese in the background. There's a river on three sides of me. And there's a water filtration plant on the escape route. <laughs> Light's gone down. Um, obviously, I'll be able to show you it better in the morning. See if I can show you this. I've set up my fire for the night. Got a stack there and a thicker wood stack. So it's not too bad. All prepped for the fire. All prepped for the bed. And the rafts um, on the other side of the river on that. Oh, I can't point to you in that, but basically behind you <laughs> there's student facilities. Now the reason I don't mind them being that far away, they're about 150, 200 yards away, maybe a bit more. But uh, students are usually boisterous and messing about and they don't give a shit what's going over in some nature reserve or dilapidated woodland. Just heard something. Okay, alert over. That was just there. Some squeaky trees, you can't see them over there. Basically, uh, I'm strung up in between the two trees that aren't leaning over from the wind or root damage. So there are quite a few possibilities to uh, debris camp with. Um, trees leaning all over the place and you could set up underneath them. Oh. Let me, can you see my hammock here? You can see my torch. Yeah, you can see the, well you can see the bevy. I've got the bag hanging up there. I'm going to put my uh, waterproof on that just in case. And I've got my hammock. All set up under there. A couple of sandwiches for tonight because I just couldn't be bothered to uh, load up with cooking kit. And I've got some breakfast in the morning as well. So, what's the wood like? Very peaceful. Very, very peaceful. And uh, just trying to see how much light. Reflective from it. Yeah, that's a tree there. Look. Yeah, just try and see how much reflective light. If anyone can see me, light shining off my face. Hopefully not. But um, I wait for. Oh, I know what's. It's stage two time. Stage one was set up, and stage two is down here. Little seating mat. 
and I've got my once you're settled you've got a stage two. Oh nice strong bow. What's it like being set up in the, between trees and eating fruit from trees? Or eating fruit, drinking fruit. <laughs> I have deserved that. I just got to make sure I don't let it drop over on the grass. <sighs> well, I'll wait for a bit and light the fire, maybe drink this drink before I light it. And then maybe get back to you. See you soon. Well, this surely is the life. Chill it out. Lying in the middle of the woods. <laughs> oh. So we're back. Half past nine at night. Just got the fire going. Um, nice and cosy. Got a little mat to lie on next to the fire. Lovely. Uh, looks like a full moon. But there's a lot of mist out there. Well, a lot of cloud. It's deadly quiet down here. Thank God for the cloud. It means there shouldn't be zero degrees like it was last night. Relatively warm by the fire anyway. Um, right in the middle of a 500 yard long or wide um, wood near Coventry. Just uh, I think that's a completed stage three, isn't it? So completed stage three means <laughs> let's turn this on. Completed stage three, a bit smoky down there. Completed stage three means yeah. Can of Guinness. Step three. Step four will be sandwich and hot cocoa before I go to bed. Uh, what I've done is I've opted for the flask version instead of the uh, cooking kit. It's too late for me to be bothered with their uh, setting up and cooking and that I wouldn't be finished till 12 o'clock at night it'd be ridiculous so made it an easy option I had a big dinner brought a couple of sandwiches with me and enjoying the moon the fire the quietness of the woods and a little beer <sighs> happy camping guys I'll show you the kit in the morning because uh it was dark when I was coming, as I said before. Got no chance of showing you it. Um, it's this sort of camp at night while camping. That gives you that adrenaline rush. Is there somebody watching? Is there somebody going to come and disturb you? Let's hope where I am, nobody will. Night night. Good morning, people. Oh, 
Well, it's been a lovely, peaceful, warm night. Uh, only thing, quite a lot of wind, well, since I've been going to bed really, but uh, you can hear the branches knocking together occasionally. Um, what's that? That was my hand. <laughs> yeah, there's, um, I could hear the branches knocking together, getting woken up now by the, uh, geese. It's, uh, gone eight o'clock. Quite like the sound of the wind in the trees. Um, I don't want to get up. <laughs> but I suppose I'll have to get my kit together. Oh, start the fire, cook my breakfast. Put my kit away. Flatten the fire. And uh, leave no trace. So, oh, I'm trying to open my eyes. Yeah, I'd best have a look at the kit and how it's situated and how discreet it is from a distance as well. Can you hear the geese? I don't know if you can, but I can. I'll have a little look at the end of the tent. There's my little fire over there. Oh. So, stay tuned. Oh, this is very interesting, peeps. All through this wood, you can see lots of greenery around here. I don't know 100%, but from growing sunflowers last year, they look like little sunflowers. And uh, there's millions of them around here. Everywhere you look, it's all covered in these plants. They're everywhere. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Obviously, a lot of them are going to get trampled and lots of them aren't going to grow. But uh, I think this could be a sunflower forest come the summer. Oh, I have to come back and take a photograph of that. Just coming into the campsite and uh, seeing what we can see. I only walked 100 yards or so away. But uh, my camp is pretty close. Uh, shouldn't be too far away. I can see the water filtration plant from here. And there. Uh, yeah, there's my camp over there. Should be able to see the yellow bag. No, I still can't see it. Yeah, look, but there it is. It's quite well camouflaged. The naked eye, you can see it moving. Let's walk around this way, see if we can get a better view. See if we can see it easier. I keep talking in the woods dead quiet and nobody can hear me. So, it was a beautiful camp last night. Beautiful woods, this will look even better in the summer. Over there is, is it a footpath? Oh yeah, look, I can see a sign over there. All oh, right, there's a there's a water course and a river in between us and the public, so that's pretty good. So there's the camp. Oh, look at that beautiful. That could have been what I heard last night. 
been there for a while though, that's not, um, might have been the one that was creaking. So there you go, you can see my camp there. It's not too hard from nearby, and look. This isn't exactly where I planned on camping last night, but it was dark and I missed the spot that I was looking at. And I'm quite glad I did, because it's lovely here. Absolutely lovely. <coughs> Uh, yeah, that's the water filtration plant over there. No noise. There's a the house that looks after. And uh, look at all these trees that are falling down. Am I in a good spot? Who knows? I think I am. Right. So now I'll get my fire going, get my do breakfast done and get out of here. So it's a simple A-frame, a DD 3.5 by 3.5 tarp, two trees, roughly three and a half metres apart, a uh, little bit more. Um, strung up on the trees is a frontline hammock with a one tigress underquilt. Again, my three season OEX Phantom Evolution 3. The coat, my little trick over my uh, feet. It wasn't cold last night at all, didn't need to do that, but at least I know where my coat is all the time. And you don't get much more basic than an A framed top. Uh, I added this cord here just to stop it flapping a bit in the wind because it was very windy last night and as you can see it's a knot locker so it just comes straight off and it's there it's a knot locker oops so it just comes straight off one-handed and um, that's a good thing about having knot lockers in your bag quick and easy do it in the cold with minimal uh, movement, movement, agility. You know, if your fingers are stiff from the gut. There you go. DD Hammocks MC. That's their um, DD's own camouflage pattern. Uh, I may have said this in videos beforehand, but uh, I'm not. I'm a little bit torn. I went for the three and a half by three and a half tarp. Um, oh yeah, I put a uh, little Jubilee clips, Jubilee clips, carabiners, things you get on your water bottles and stuff like that on either end to wrap around for ease of connecting. I made it a little bit easier last night. Can't see the geese. Um, yeah, made it a little bit easier last night. And, uh, yeah, what I was saying is I'm a little bit torn between the 3.5 by the 3 metre tarp because I used to like having a diamond-shaped tarp. And basically, in between these trees, <coughs> you're... Uh, perfectly set up for a diamond tarp because that's only three and a half metres long but for a three metre tarp that is um, but when you do this tarp on um, a diamond shape then you have to add more tree huggers for your hammock because it's the trees are obviously so much further apart um, so I do carry a strap just in case um, I have to an extra strap just in case I have to stretch it but uh, yes, that was very warm last night. It, I'm not wearing my coat at the moment, obviously. And um, it's probably about seven or eight degrees at the moment. It's lovely, it's fine. A bit windy, but in the trees you're sheltered. And it's just lovely out here. Wonder if I'm going to get busted like the fire for breakfast. That's the question. 
but I'm going to do it anyway and see what happens. Well, I'm all packed up now, there's where I was camping, leave no trace behind, come back another day, nobody knows you've been or gone. So, now it's daylight and it's peace and calm, the wind is still blowing the trees, let me see if you can see those trees waggling like that. Yeah, they're giving it a bit of a rock. Uh, this is something to take into account next time I come down this way if you can see above me yep that one there swinging right above where my tarp was I'm standing right on the end of my tarp that could have landed on my legs. To and fro and definitely, definitely a widow maker. See if I can see it from this angle. It's hard to see with the reflections. It's up there waggling somewhere. I can't don't know if I can see it. But yeah, <clears throat> that was what I could hear knocking against the branches last night. And uh, now I look at it, I'm glad I didn't know what it was because I'd have been uh, tempted to up sticks and move away. Chuck some more sticks in the area, hiding my uh, trails. So now I'm going to have to take this track, uh, the one you've seen me walking along earlier, and uh, head off home. It's been a really good camp. Thanks for joining me, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, comment. I can answer every comment. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is. Um, even if it's... I haven't got a clue. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Like and subscribe. There's lots of you subscribed out there, but not many people um, liking or um, subscribing. It doesn't take a lot just to press the button. Uh, if you don't want to see when anybody else makes a comment on it, just um, mute, mute the notifications after you've done it. But uh, yeah, quite ha quite happy with this wood. Really, um, solitude and quiet and lovely. So happy camping, guys!